industry, amongst other industries, continue to struggle to find employees. How do you and the Biden administration plan to incentivize those that haven't returned to work yet? It was a question at last night's presidential town hall from John Lanny of the Thunderdome Restaurant Group. You know, the people who've brought you Curito, Bakersfield and Citybird. But that one question resonated with other restaurant owners and really beyond. They're living through staff shortages too, and they want ideas from the administration. The president told Lanny that the government spent billions to help his industry in the pandemic, and he said this. People being seven, eight dollars an hour plus tips, that, uh, that's, I think, John, you're gonna be finding 15 bucks an hour or more now. Is that the answer to where have all the workers gone? I don't think it's nuanced enough. Um, but the reality is that some employers are going to have to pay more to compete. That from NKU economist Janet Hera. And it is a reality. The owner of the 859 Tap Room and Grill is already living. He says he's paying some cooks more to keep them in-house. And he is searching for servers and bartenders who are tip-driven and work in part for the customer. In Kentucky, where enhanced unemployment benefits continue, asking folks back can be tough. I've contacted all my ex-employees and they just and they said I appreciate the phone call we really like working for you but at this time it's just we'll give you a call when when, when the money is not there and it's uh, and it's great employees too there may be some that are staying home because of the enhanced unemployment benefits but all the survey work that's been done is saying that the real answer is much more nuanced she says some people are still afraid to come back because of COVID and its variants. Some are struggling with child care and others are simply being choosy because the unemployment benefits buy them the ability to weigh opportunities. But that still does not address dissatisfaction with President Joe Biden's answer last night. Like restaurants, the commercial construction business is starved for workers. I spoke with a trade association leader. What would you like to have heard from the president? I would have liked to have heard that there will unequivocally be no extension of the weekly $300 supplement, that the administration um, is looking for or will be looking for ways to support employers and employees. And his suggestion, providing tax credits for continued learning opportunities and help for employees with things like transportation and child care to take the sting out of going back. Our economists thought those were nuanced suggestions for the nuanced situation. She also told me there is enormous churn in the market right now. People quitting and being hired at a lightning quick pace. And she made sure to say, we've come far. We're trying to get enough people to work way better than 2008 when people could not find jobs.